So say I want you to simplify something like this. So you have x to the one third over y to the negative two, all taken to the sixth power. So the first thing you should do is recall the um, the the exponent rule, where if you have a over b to any power r, you distribute the r to the numerator and the denominator, so this becomes a to the r over b to the r. What this means is that we move the six down here, so to the to the numerator and to the denominator. So distributing that um, exponent of six, we end up getting x to the one third to the sixth power on the top, and x to the negative two to the sixth power on the bottom. Not so bad, we just distributed, right? So now, the next rule we should use is that if you take any power, any, any number to a power and then take it to another power, what you do is you multiply the exponents. So, scrolling down a little bit, we get x to the one-third times six, over y to the negative 2 times 6. And simplifying this, this is just multiplying numbers, which we're used to. So 6 times 1 third is x to the 6 thirds, and then this becomes y to the negative 12. And then simplifying, this becomes x squared over y to the negative 12. So now, you can leave it like this, but in general, um, at, we prefer not to have negative exponents. So the way you can, what you can do is use the rule where any number taken to a negative exponent is 1 over the reciprocal of that number taken to the positive exponent. So the negative, all it does is that it gives you the reciprocal. So now rewriting this over here, x squared over y to the negative 12 is the same thing as x squared over 1 over y to the 12, right? And then distributing, um, multiplying in, uh, this becomes x squared times y to the 12th power. So this is the final form of our simplification and the best form of the form that doesn't have any negative exponents.